Good afternoon, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge mini series for productivity coaches. Today is day 11 of the challenge, and a special shout out to Adam Sellers who brought up this idea for this challenge um, and found a glaring omission and something that I hadn't talked to you guys about. So, um, again, remember this Pro Coach program was brought around for several, several reasons, and one of the biggest ones is being leveraged for your coaching clients. And that can be found nowhere better than inside of opportunities with regards to your transaction-based checklists. So inside of opportunities, if you come in and you are logged in as the Rainmaker of the Pro Coach account, I don't have a Test Pro Coach account, but I'm using the RTT Rainmaker account for our regional tech trainer team. If I come into the team tab, and I select any one of the five phases of business, I can come in and see all of the stages that have been built out inside of that particular phase. If I click on edit stages, each one of these phases has a specific checklist. Now these checklists are items that need to be done while the actual opportunity is inside of that stage for that particular phase for that particular pipeline. So for example, we are in the listings pipeline, the active phase, and these are the stages. So we've got coming soon, and this is just a test account, so I don't even know what's in here, but this one says have staging company, and if I hover over it long enough, it should show up, uh, bring furniture in. So have the staging company bring the furniture in and then schedule the photographer, and get the Matterport tour completed and then get the marketing brochure. So these are things, I don't know who created these lists, honestly, one of our RTTs, I'm sure. However, you have the ability, when you go into your Pro Coach account, these checklists will be completely empty. And you can then customize them for your business. Now, I know that may sound daunting, but there are a couple of different resources that you have available that you can start with. Um, if you go into Shift, uh, let's see, it is Tactic 12, Bulletproof the Transaction. I was just reading it this weekend, my apologies. Let me get to the page that has the checklist on here for you. Uh, but inside of Shift, Tactic 11, you're going to have a resource that you can use on page 260. Uh, this is contract to close, so this would only apply to certain stages or phases, but 260 of Shift. There are also some checklists inside of the Win With Sellers course. And then finally, I will go ahead and upload two different uh, resources that I use um, to send out to people looking to build checklists. I'll uh, upload those to the two Facebook groups. So that would be the KW Command for Leadership and KW Command for Productivity Coaches. You guys can check out those checklists. My personal recommendation is build out your checklist inside of Excel, have them completely built out, and then you would come in, and if you have leverage in your program, maybe your VA does this, uh, maybe you end up doing this, but you would come into each one of the stages and you're going to build out the checklist by clicking on add item and then you would type out the item. So maybe it's um, uh, confirm receipt of photos and Matterport, right? And we can click on save. And that's how you add an item. If I think that this needs to be done before the marketing brochure is created, then I can reorder them. Just by clicking on the six dots on the side, I can reorder the checklist any way that I choose fit. Now guys, why are you gonna do all of this work? Well, here's the great part. When you build out the checklist for your coaching program one time, as long as you are in the Rainmaker account, it then trickles down to all agents inside of your program. So you'll see, I just added that new item inside of coming soon in our active phase of our listing pipeline. Now, if I go in as the RTT agent and sign in, you will now see inside of the opportunity pipeline as an agent, as long as I'm in my team tab, if I click on active and then I click on edit stages, you will see that there are now five items available. And here's where that fifth item got added, the confirm receipt. The checklists are super important because when you have opportunities inside of those checklists, you can then see, okay, one out of five items have been completed for this checklist item, but some of them have not. 
right? So this is where your agents can really learn how to make sure they're checking all of the boxes. And you can even put checklist items in that pertain to your coaching program. Like, okay, they went under contract. Maybe the first step in this stage is send your coach a copy of the contract or whatever your goal is for your coaching clients to notify you of. Um, so there are definitely some ways where you can kind of tailor make these checklists to benefit you as the coach and your program. So guys, that's it for today. Tomorrow, we're gonna talk about client update items and how you can further enhance your checklists by adding client update items. I just didn't want this video to run too long. So uh, stay tuned for that tomorrow. As always, hope you're having a fantastic day and I'll look forward to talking to you again real soon.